William Marr, born January 20, 1956, is an American comedian, political commentator and television host. He is known for the HBO political talk show Real Time with Bill Maher 2003 present and the similar late night show called Politically Incorrect 1993-2002, originally on Comedy Central and later on ABC. Maher is known for his sarcastic attitude, political satire and socio-political commentary. He targets many topics including religion, politics, bureaucracy, political correctness and the mass media. Marr supports the legalization of cannabis and same-sex marriage. His critical views of religion were the basis for the 2008 documentary film Religulous. He is a supporter of animal rights, having served on the board of PETA since 1997 and is an advisory board member of Project Reason. In 2005, Marr ranked at number 38 on Comedy Central's 100 Greatest Stand-Up Comedians of All Time. He received a Hollywood Walk of Fame star on September 14, 2010. Early life Marr was born in New York City. His father, William Aloysius Marr Jr., was a network news editor and radio announcer, and his mother, Julie Marr, née Berman, was a nurse. He was raised in his Irish-American father's Roman Catholic religion. Until his early teens, he was unaware that his mother, whose family was from Hungary, was Jewish. Owing to his disagreement with the Catholic Church's doctrine about birth control, Mar's father stopped taking Mar and his sister to Catholic Church services when Mar was 13. Mar was raised in Rivervale, New Jersey, and graduated from Pasquick Hills High School in Montvale in 1974. He then attended Cornell University, where he double majored in English and history, and graduated in 1978. Marr has said, Selling pot allowed me to get through college and make enough money to start off in comedy. Career Early career Marr began his career as a comedian and actor. He was host of the New York City Comedy Club Catch a Rising Star in 1979. Marr began appearing on Johnny Carson's and David Letterman's shows in 1982. He made limited television appearances including on Sarah 1985, Max Headroom 1987, Murder, She Wrote 1989, 1990, and Charlie Hoover 1991. His feature film debut was in D.C. Cab 1983. He later appeared in Ratboy, 1986, House 2, The Second Story, 1987, Cannibal Women in the Avocado Jungle of Death, 1988, and Pizza Man, 1991. Television career Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher Marr assumed the host role on Politically Incorrect with Bill Marr, a late-night political talk show that ran on Comedy Central from 1993 to 1997 and on ABC from 1997 to 2002. The show regularly began with a topical monologue by Marr preceding the introduction of four guests, usually a diverse group of individuals, such as show business, popular culture, political pundits, political consultants, authors, and occasionally news figures. The group would discuss topical issues selected by Marr, who also participated in the discussions. Jerry Seinfeld, a regular guest on the show, stated that Politically Incorrect reminded him of talk shows from the 1950s and 60s, when guests interacted with each other as much as with the host. Politically Incorrect won an array of awards, including an Emmy Award for Outstanding Technical Direction, two Cavalese Awards for Best Talk Show Series, and a Genesis Award for Best Television Talk Show. Marr earned numerous award nominations for his producing, writing, and hosting of Politically Incorrect, including 10 Emmy nominations, two TV Guide nominations, and two Writers Guild nominations. ABC decided against renewing Marr contract for Politically Incorrect in 2002, after he made a controversial on-air remark six days after the September 11 attacks. He agreed with his guest, conservative pundit Dinesh D. Souza, that the 9-11 terrorists did not act in a cowardly manner, in rebuttal to President Bush's statement calling them cowards. Marr said, we have been the cowards. Lobbing cruise missiles from 2,000 miles away. That. S. Cowardly. Staying in the airplane when it hits the building. 
Say what you want about it. Not cowardly. You. Rewrite. Marr later clarified that his comment was not anti-military in any way whatsoever, referencing his well-documented long-standing support for the American military. After receiving complaints, FedEx and Sears Roebuck pulled their advertisements from the show, costing the show significant revenue. Marr. S. Remarks after 9-11 were not the first time he had sparked controversy on politically incorrect. In the same year, he expressed his deep regrets and apologized after being widely criticized for comparing his dogs to retarded children. The show was canceled on June 16, 2002, and the Sinclair Broadcast Group had dropped the show from its ABC-affiliated stations months prior. On June 22, 2002, just six days after the cancellation of Politically Incorrect, Marr received the Los Angeles Press Club President's Award for Championing Free Speech. Marr was on the board of judges for the 2002 Penn Newman's own First Amendment Award. Real Time with Bill Marr in 2003, Marr became the host, co-producer, and co-writer of Real Time with Bill Marr, a weekly hour-long political comedy talk show on the cable television network HBO. In 2016, HBO renewed Real Time through 2018, for its 15th and 16th seasons. During an interview, Marr told Terry Gross, on NPR. S. Fresh Air, that he much prefers having serious and well-informed guests on his program, as opposed to the random celebrities that fleshed out his roundtable discussions on Politically Incorrect, as with his previous show, Politically Incorrect, Marr begins real time with a comic opening monologue based upon current events and other topical issues. He proceeds to a one-on-one -on -one interview with a guest, either in studio or via satellite. Following the interview, Marr sits with two or three panelists, usually consisting of pundits, authors, activists, actors, politicians, and journalists, for a discussion of the week's events. Real Time has earned widespread praise. It has been nominated for more than 10 Primetime Emmy Awards and six writer. S. Guild Awards. In 2007, Marr and his co-producers were awarded the Television Producer of the Year Award in Variety Television by the Producers Guild of America. Marr holds the record for the most Emmy nominations without a win, having been nominated on 22 occasions and not winning once. Eleven of the nominations were for Politically Incorrect, while nine were for Real Time. The other two were nominations for two of his HBO comedy specials, I. M. Swiss and Bill Maher, The Decider. Notable responses to real-time episodes In late May 2005, Alabama Congressman Spencer Batches sent a letter to Time Warner's board of directors requesting real-time be canceled after remarks Maher made after noting the military had missed its recruiting goals by 42%. Batches said he felt the comments were demeaning to the military and treasonous. Marr stated his highest regard and support for the troops and asked why the congressman criticized him instead of doing something about the recruitment problem. On September 17, 2010, Marr aired a clip of Delaware Republican senatorial candidate Christine O'Donnell from the October 29, 1999 episode of his old show Politically Incorrect on his current show Real Time with Bill Marr, where she mentioned that she had dabbled in witchcraft. This was one of the most notable of numerous controversial statements by O'Donnell that made her the most covered candidate in the 2010 mid-term election cycle. In February 2017, Marr invited Milo Yiannopoulos to be interviewed on real time. Yiannopoulos accepted, despite protests from some commentators and fans. The appearance on Marr's show harmed Yiannopoulos's career due to comments in the interview in which he seemed to express sympathy toward perpetrators of child sexual abuse. In the days following the interview, Yiannopoulos had his invitation to speak before the 2017 Conservative Political Action Conference, as well as a book deal with Simon & Schuster, cancelled. Yiannopoulos subsequently resigned as an editor at Breitbart News. When asked whether Yiannopoulos's interview on his show was among the causes of his resignation, Marr concurred, saying, as I say, sunlight is the best disinfectant. You're welcome. Later in June 2017, Marr came under criticism for saying, I'm a house nigger, on real time with calls being made by people to HBO to fire him. 
Following the episode, HBO sent a statement to media outlets, calling Mars' remarks, inexcusable and tasteless, and said the cable network will remove that segment from future airings of the show. Marr also issued a statement apologizing for the remarks. Political commentator Marr is a frequent commentator on various cable news networks, including CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, and HLN. Marr has regularly appeared on CNN's The Situation Room with Wolf Blitzer and has also been a frequent guest on MSNBC's Hardball with Chris Matthews, The Rachel Maddow Show, and Countdown with Keith Olbermann. Marr has also appeared as a guest on HLN's The Joy Behar Show. He wrote the foreword for the 2002 book, Spin This, All the Ways We Don't Tell the Truth by show host Bill Press. Marr hosted the January 13, 2006 edition of Larry King Live, on which he was a frequent guest. Marr appeared as a special guest on the June 29, 2010 edition of the show, on which CNN anchor Larry King announced his retirement. Marr co-emceed the final show of Larry King Live on December 16, 2010 with Ryan Seacrest. Other work in 2004 Marr appeared on stage as Satan in the Steve Allen Theater production of Hollywood Hell House, a spoof of the Christian-run Hell Houses. The show was a faithful reproduction of an evangelistic scare experience written by Reverend Keenan Roberts to terrify teenagers into declaring themselves Christians. Our faith is that putting this up as itself, it will hoist itself on its own petard, that it's comical just as it is, explained producer Maggie Rowe. The show featured a rotating cast of over 160 celebrities, including Andy Richter, Jesus, Richard Belzer, Dave Thomas, Tracy Lords, Craig Bierko, Sarah Silverman, and Julia Sweeney. Marr and director Larry Charles teamed up to make the movie Religulous, described by trade publication Variety as a documentary that spoofs religious extremism across the world. It was released on October 3, 2008. In 2013, Marr became one of the executive producers for the HBO news magazine series Vice. Also in 2013, Marr appeared on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno and offered to pay $5 million to a charity if Donald Trump would produce his birth certificate to prove that Trump's mother had not mated with an orangutan. Marr said this reportedly in response to Trump having previously challenged President Barack Obama to produce his birth certificate, and having offered $5 million payable to a charity of Obama's choice if Obama would produce his college applications, transcripts, and passport records. In response to Marr's offer, Trump produced his birth certificate, and then Trump launched a lawsuit after Marr was not forthcoming, claiming that Marr S five million dollars offer was legally binding. I don. T think he was joking. Trump said, quote, he said it with venom. Trump withdrew his lawsuit against the comedian after eight weeks. On May 13, 2016, Marr and his friend Michael Moore announced on YouTube that they are going to make a movie called The Kings of Atheism. Views and beliefs. Politics Marr eschews political labels, referring to himself as practical. In the past, he has described himself as a libertarian, and has also referred to himself as a progressive, as a sane person. He has referred to himself as a 9-11th liberal. Noting that his formerly liberal view of Islam changed as a result of the attacks on September 11, 2001, and he differentiates himself from liberals of the opinion that all religions are alike, Marr favors ending corporate welfare and federal funding of non-profits as well as the legalization of gambling, prostitution, and cannabis. Marr is a member of the advisory boards for both the Normal and Marijuana Policy Project, organizations that support regulated legalization of cannabis, and has been called one of the brightest torches for sensible marijuana policy, and a contemporary cannabis statesman. Marr describes himself as an environmentalist, and he has spoken in favor of the Kyoto Treaty on Global Warming on his show Real Time. He often criticizes industry figures involved in environmental pollution. He is a board member of People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. The comedian has noted the paradox of people claiming they distrusted. Elite. Politicians while at the same time wanting elite doctors to treat them and elite lawyers to represent them in court. Marr supports the death penalty. Since the 9-11 attacks, he has endorsed certain uses of profiling at airports, saying that 
Places like Israel, where they have faced terrorism for a long time, of course understand that profiling is part of all detective work. It's part of all police work. If they stop calling it profiling and start calling it high intelligence screening or something, people would go, it's about time. He opposed the Iraq War from the beginning, and has summarized his opinion by saying that the United States and the world have had to pay too high a price for the war. He is skeptical of Iraq surviving without civil war. In the 2008 U.S. presidential election, Marr announced his support for U.S. Senator Barack Obama, D.L. Although Marr welcomed Obama's electoral victory, he subjected him to criticism after he took office for not acting more boldly on health care reform and other progressive issues. On February 23, 2012, after his crazy stupid politics special streamed on Yahoo Screen, Marr announced that he was contributing $1 million to Priorities USA, the Obama Super PAC, on the Israeli Palestinian conflict. Marr says he is more on the side of the Israelis. In DOESN. T consider both sides equally guilty. He acknowledges that Palestinians do have gripes, and he has been critical of U.S. financial aid to Israel, saying, they don't. T need our money, they can handle it themselves. Marr also notes that most Israelis would prefer a two-state solution and oppose the hard-line stance of their Israeli government, which he describes as having been taken over by their version of the Tea Party. However, Marr has defended Israel's military actions against Palestinian militants amid criticism over civilian deaths and disproportionate casualty count between Israelis and Palestinians during the 2014 Gaza War. He argues that Israel is still showing restraint, and he finds it ironic that the same people who were incredulous over how the Jews in World War II were led to their slaughter can't understand why they are defending themselves now. Marr is a gun owner, and explained in his February 12, 2013 appearance on the late night TV talk show Conan that he owns guns for personal home protection. However, he does not identify himself as a proud gun owner, commenting that being a proud gun owner is akin to saying I am a proud remote control owner. Single quote quote dot. Marr has stated that statistics showing that gun owners are more likely to harm a member of their household are caused by irresponsible gun owners, and believes that tragedies such as school shootings will not lead to fundamental change in gun laws because both Democrats and Republicans favor guns. On June 7, 2013, Bill Marr expressed on his show limited support for the NSA. S. Prism intelligence data collection from private phone calls and the Internet, saying that the threat of terrorists obtaining and using nuclear weapons was the tipping point for him. While he stated that he trusted the Obama administration to employ the program responsibly, he described the NSA's access to private data as a slippery slope, and worried about whether other politicians would be as responsible. In the lead up to the 2014 midterm elections, Marr conducted a flip a district contest on his HBO show. His audience was asked to select one terrible, entrenched member of Congress in a close election race. The loserest loser of all. to remove from office. Marr aimed to help oust that representative by shining a national spotlight on the politician during segments of his show and stand-up comedy appearances in that member's district during the fall election. Marr endorsed a 2014 Maine referendum to ban the use of bait, traps, and dogs to hunt bears in Maine. He specifically criticized the use of bait, referring to its use as nothing but an execution. In the 2016 U.S. presidential election, Marr initially endorsed Senator Bernie Sanders on February 5, 2016. Marr later announced his support for Hillary Clinton after Sanders had lost the Democratic Party primary elections. In October 2016, Marr criticized WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange for publishing leaks from the DNC's emails, saying, I really feel like he's lost his way a little, and he hates Hillary. On March 31, 2017, Marr said to Clinton, Hillary, stay in the woods. Okay. You had your shot. You fucked it up. You're Bill Buckner. We had the World Series, and you let the grounder go through your legs. Let someone else have the chance.
Religion Mar is highly critical of all religion and views it as highly destructive. He has been described, or self-identified, variously as an agnostic, atheist, and apatheist, while objecting to having his views defined by a single label. In his 2008 feature film Religulus, he refers to himself as agnostic. He has rejected being grouped with explicit atheists, saying in 2002, I am not an atheist. There is a really big difference between an atheist and someone who just doesn't t believe in religion. Religion to me is a bureaucracy between man and God that I don't need, but I'm not an atheist, no. Marr has also occasionally referred to himself as an apatheist, saying in 2011, I don. T know what happens when you die, and I don. T care. Quote, when discussing his apatheism and his views on the existence of God, he said on a scale from 1 to 7, 7 being absolutely certain there is no God. He was only at 6.9, like Richard Dawkins. Because we just don. T know. But we just don. T think about it. Quote, he added, there's atheist and there's agnostic, and I am okay with us not splitting the difference on those, if you are just not a super religious person, you are on my team. Several months later on a 2012 episode of his HBO show, Marr declared that idiots must stop claiming that atheism is a religion. Believe it or not, I don. T really enjoy talking about religion all the time. In fact, not only is atheism not a religion, it's not even my hobby, and that's the best thing about being an atheist. It requires so little of your time. Quote, he has reiterated his stance during other interviews, rejecting both the certitude of the existence, as well as the certitude of non-existence of deities, concluding, I M saying that doubt is the only appropriate response for human beings, while critical of all organized religions, saying, they re all stupid and dangerous. Marr says all religions are not alike, and has drawn comparisons and contrasts between them. He has said, by any standard, Mormonism is more ridiculous than any other religion. Quote, he has referred to tenets of Judaism as insane and funny and has said Buddhism includes crazy whack shit that doesn t exist that somebody made up, like reincarnation. He has described Christianity and Islam as more warlike, and has asserted that, like historic Christianity, present-day Islam needs to undergo its own reformation and enlightenment. In defense of his criticism of Islam, Sharia law and Muslim culture, Mar says he is someone who believes in the values that Western people believe in that a lot of the Muslim world does not. Like separation of church and state. Like equality of the sexes. Like respect for minorities, free elections, free speech, freedom to gather. These things are not just different from cultures that don. T have them. It's better. I would like to keep those values here. Citing studies and poll results by Pew Research Center, the World Economic Forum and others, Marr says the human rights violations and a liberal ideas found in Islam are not extremist views held by a small minority, but are supported by a majority of citizens in Muslim countries. Marr has criticized liberals as hypocritical for defending these core liberal values and ideals only at home, while not condemning the oppression of these values and groups in Muslim culture. Regarding the more recent publicity generated by his stance in the ongoing debate, Marr says he thinks people are finally paying closer attention to a conversation that they need to have. I'm just shining a light on the reality of the situation. I don't even understand why this is so controversial. Marr received the 2009 Richard Dawkins Award from Atheist Alliance International. He is an advisory board member of author Sam Harris Project Reason, a foundation that promotes scientific knowledge and secular values within society. Health care Marr has stated that the American Medical Association is a powerful lobbying group and one of the primary reasons why the United States had failed to enact health care reform. 
On the topic of getting health care reform legislation passed, Marr stated that Obama should forget about trying to get 60 votes for it. He only needs 51. Forget getting the 60 votes or 60%. 60% of people don't believe in evolution in this country. He just needs to drag them to it, like I said, they're stupid, get health care done, with or without them. On Fox News in a televised debate with Bill O. Riley, Marr said that, if Jesus was in charge of the country we he probably have health care for everybody. Marr has expressed the view that a lot of illness is the result of poor diet and lack of exercise, and that medicine is often not the most appropriate way of addressing illness. In an episode of his show about the 2008 presidential candidate's health plans, Marr stated that poor nutrition is a primary cause of illness, and that the answer isn. T another pill, he also has said, if you believe you need to take all the pills the pharmaceutical industry says you do, then you re already on drugs. Quote, he has expressed his distaste for the pharmaceutical and health care industries in general, on the grounds that they make their money out of treating people who are made sick by consuming unhealthy food that corporations urge upon the public. He maintains that mass consumption of high fructose corn syrup is a contributor to the rise in frequency of obesity in the United States. In a discussion with Michael Moore about the film Sicko, Marr said, The human body is pretty amazing, it doesn. T get sick, usually, for no reason. I mean, there's some genetic stuff that can get to you, but basically, people are sick in this country because they re-poisoned. The environment is a poisoning factor, but also, we gotta say, they poison themselves. They eat shit. People eat shit, and that. S, to my way of thinking, about 90% of why people are sick, is because they eat shit. Tara Parker Pope and former Senator, RTN Dr. Bill Frist, a physician, have called his criticism of the H1N1 flu vaccinations unscientific. Infectious diseases expert Paul Offit has written that misinformation about vaccines from celebrities like Marr has put children at unnecessary risk. Offit says that celebrities like Marr are seen as less credible and would still be considered just great entertainment. If they weren't joined by the former director of the National Institutes of Health, Dr. Bernadine Healy and influential pediatrician, Dr. Robert Sears, oncologist David Gorski criticized Marr's claims about vaccines several times in science blogs, and when Marr received the Richard Dawkins Award in 2009, Gorski wrote it was inappropriate. Skeptics, including mathematician and science writer Martin Gardner, neurologist Stephen Novella, and magician Jamie Ian Swiss have also strongly rebuked Marr, characterizing him as anti-science, uninformed and potentially endangering the health of fans who take his non-medical advice. Marr responded to the criticism, saying, What I read about what they think I'm saying is not what I've said. I'm not a germ theory denier. I believe vaccinations can work. Polio is a good example. Do I think in certain situations that inoculating third world children against malaria or diphtheria, or whatever, is right? Of course. In a situation like that, the benefits outweigh costs. But to me living in Los Angeles? To get a flu shot? No. Views on 9-11 conspiracy theories Marr has been a critic of 9-11 conspiracy theories. On October 19, 2007, Marr confronted several 9-11 truthers and had them ejected from his show audience after they interrupted the live show numerous times by calling out from the audience. The incident drew significant media attention and praise from Fox News talk show host and frequent critic John Gibson. Supreme Court, Brett Kavanaugh Controversy Amid the controversy over embattled jurist Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation to the Supreme Court, Marr stated on an episode of Real Time with Bill Marr of the never married United States Senator Lindsey Graham RSC's defense of Kavanaugh that Trump can either find people like him or make him, Lindsey Graham needs the stabilizing influence of his dead boyfriend. 
In reference to the late U.S. Senator John McCain, R. As, who died on August 25, 2018. Marr called Graham's outspoken support for Kavanaugh as a performance, claiming that Graham might be eyeing a cabinet position in the Trump administration. CNN television personality April Ryan, who was present, agreed with Marr. Influences Marr has said his influences include Johnny Carson, Robert Klein, Lenny Bruce, Steve Allen, Mort Saul, and George Carlin. Comedians who have said they were influenced by Marr are Chris Rock and Seth MacFarlane. Personal life Marr has never married. Regarding marriage, Marr is quoted on his website as saying, I'm the last of my guy friends to have never gotten married, and their wives, they don't want them playing with me. I'm like the escaped slave. I bring news of freedom. In 2003, he began dating former Playboy cyber girl Coco Johnson. In November 2004, at the end of their 17-month relationship, Johnson sued Marr for $9 million for pain and suffering, for alleged insulting, humiliating and degrading racial comments. Her suit stated that Marr promised to marry her and father her children, support her financially and buy a house in Beverly Hills. Johnson's suit also alleged that she quit her job as a flight attendant and occasional model to be with him. Marr's lawyers in their response, filed on November 23, 2004, in Los Angeles Superior Court said Marr is a confirmed bachelor, and a very public one at that, who never promised to marry Johnson or to have children with her. Marr's filing stated that, after the relationship had ended, Johnson launched a campaign to embarrass, humiliate, and extort ridiculous sums of money from Bill Marr. Johnson had previously accused another former boyfriend of rape and kidnapping in 1997, and the charges were later dismissed for lack of evidence. The lawsuit was dismissed on May 2, 2005. In 2005, Marr began dating Corrine Steffens, best selling author and former hip hop model, when commentators suggested there was a pattern to his dating because both his girlfriend and former girlfriend were black. Marr said, People say I'm into black women. Robert De Niro is into black women. I'm just into women who are real, and they happen to be black. From 2009 to 11, Marr dated former adjunct professor, science educator, and current skeptics guide to the universe co-host Cara Santa Maria. In 2014, Marr was dating Ontario-born singer Anjali Persaud. In 2012, Marr purchased a minority ownership interest in the New York Mets. Bibliography True Story, a novel, 1994, ISBN 0-7432-4251-3 Does anybody have a problem with that? Politically Incorrect's Greatest Hits, 1996, ISBN 0-679-45627-9 Does anybody have a problem with that? The Best of Politically Incorrect, 1997, ISBN 0-345-41281-8 When You Ride Alone You Ride with Bin Laden, What the Government Should Be Telling Us to Help Fight the War on Terrorism, 2003, ISBN 1-893-224-90-2 Keep the Statue of Liberty Closed, The New Rules, 2004, ISBN 1-932407-47-2 New Rules, Polite Musings from a Timid Observer, 2005, ISBN 1-59486-295-8 The New New Rules, A Funny Look at How Everybody But Me Has Their Head Up Their Ass, 2011, ISBN 0-39915-841-3 Filmography References External links Official website Bill Maher at Curly Bill Maher on IMDb Works by or about Bill Maher in Libraries WorldCat Catalog Bill Maher on National Public Radio in 2004 Appearances on C-SPAN 
Bill Maher on Charlie Rose Bill Maher at Library of Congress Authorities, with 14 catalog records.